Hello everyone. Uh, during this um, lockdown period because of coronavirus, COVID-19, <clears throat> as believers, uh, some of you may think that we as believers are also helpless and you know um, there may be fear, anxiety, there may be a lot of uh, concern about uh, you know future. But I want to tell you that there is just one Bible verse, not many, just one. Just one Bible verse that speaks to us, and that is so important, that is so meaningful. And just one Bible verse, understanding this Bible verse and responding to it, <clears throat> believers have responsibility. This one Bible verse can change uh, our perspective on this lockdown and what we must do during this period of time. What is the Bible verse? I want to tell you that Bible verse, that one Bible verse is from um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Let's read together. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and he will heal their land. Amen. The Lord said, if his people who are called by his name humble themselves and pray and seek his face and turn from their wicked ways. Remember, there are four elements here. In fact, <clears throat> this word, of course, this, word, this, this is the word spoken to King Solomon. Um, as they dedicated the beautiful temple of God. King Solomon constructed the beautiful temple of God and dedicated. The, the word of the Lord came to, to King Solomon and he spoke this. In, however, this is also so relevant to us. It, it's also, you know, uh, it's for us as well. And so, <clears throat> as the Lord was in fact telling them that what is the responsibility? We are not insignificant. We are not helpless. In, in fact, our role is so important. And what we do, the healing of the land hangs on how believers are going to respond to the, uh, this kind of pandemic epidemic of this of this magnitude of this uh, you know uh, this magnitude and this sort of danger he said so therefore he said there are few four things people of God must do and so what are those four things he said, if my people are coming, will humble themselves. Okay. The first thing is, people of God must humble themselves. Okay. People of God must humble themselves. People of God must humble themselves. What is the second thing? Second thing is, they must pray. Okay. They must humble themselves. They must pray. And what? They must seek the face of God. So, what is humbleness? You know, this is not simply seeking God, but simply falling at His feet and say, Lord, we are helpless, but we know that I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Therefore, we look up to you. As we pray, as we call on God and say, seek my face. Seeking here is really seeking with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our strength. It's not just seeking for the sake of seeking per se, but seeking with seriousness. And is that enough? Since we sought to the Lord, since we have been seeking the Lord, the Lord will just answer us? No, not yet. There is the next element, which is turn from the wicked ways. The Lord gives so importance to turning. What is turning from our wicked ways? This is repentance. People, there are 
There are so many things we need to repent. There are so many things we have ignored. There are so many, so in so many ways, we have hurt God. And therefore, God wants us to call Him and repent. So, it is very dangerous that we may be calling God without repentance. If we are not repenting and we are not turning from our wicked ways and turn towards God, our prayers will not be answered. We need to turn from our wicked ways. In other words, we need to repent and turn to God. And <clears throat> therefore, today this is so important. There are so many sins we ignore and we just we don't do need anything about it. You know very well and I know very well. This is a time for us to repent and turn from our wicked ways. And God will surely, therefore, when we do that, God has already promised. What did He promise? He said, He will hear us from heaven. He will hear from heaven. The next thing He's going to do is He will forgive our sin. And He will heal our land. Hallelujah. The Lord has promised that He will do these things for us. What? He will hear, He will forgive, and He will heal our land. So during this period, during this lockdown period, I hope that we can humbly, first thing we need to do is we must humble. The second thing we need to do is pray humbly, seek humbly, and we must purge the sins from our lives. And that is the way God will hear us. He is ready to hear us, but we are not doing what we must do. People of God who are called by His name are not doing our job. There are many believers, so-called believers, so-called Christians, who don't want to you know, uh, turn from their wicked ways, who continues to do it. Yes, this is a time. Why God has not brought punishment on us? He loves us. He could have done it, but now He's giving us a chance. We should really bow down to Him and say, Lord, thank you. You could have annihilated all of us, but in fact, you are giving us a chance. I'll tell you there was one beautiful story, the story of Jonah and the city of Nineveh who experienced lockdown. Firstly, Jonah was told to go to the city of Nineveh and tell the people there that calamity, calamity is coming because of a wickedness. He was supposed to go and tell them, but he went the other way. And when the calamity was about to come, when he was traveling to the another way, he was going, instead of going to Nineveh, Nineveh he was going to a city called Tarshish by boat, by ship. The ship was about to sink as the the waves grew stronger and stronger. The people are howling, crying, God. They are calling on God. But look at Jonah, the people of God who was called by the name of God. He did not know how to call upon the name of God. Calamity was about to come. The boat was about to sink. The ship was about to sink, but still he was sleeping. But his friends woke him up. It's a sad thing. He was supposed to call on God, but instead he was sleeping. We are supposed to call God. And so, of course, to make the story short, he was thrown into the uh, water, into the sea. And then what? He was repenting. There he sought the Lord. There he prayed God. He prayed sincerely. He sought the Lord and he said, I am so wicked. You told me to go to Nineveh city, but I'm going to touch this. He repented. When he repented, what happened? The Lord heard his prayer. He forgave his sin and he did not bring, he, he allowed him, he gave him the second chance. Hallelujah. Likewise, when he, Jonah, went to the city of Nineveh, he told them 40 days and if you don't repent, calamity is coming. Okay. The wrath of God is coming. You know what, what the people of the city of Nineveh did when they experienced lockdown? 
they put on sackcloth the king she pronounced you know he he called upon his people everyone slave men women children everyone even animals everyone they put on their clothes they fasted they repented they prayed they call on god they sought the lord and in fact they turned from the wicked noise wicked ways and what happened see the lord heard their prayers the lord forgave their sin and he indeed healed the land the same miracle god is going to do for us if we do the same thing if we call upon his name lot, many people are dying many people are seriously critically ill many of us are in dangers as believers what are we going to do we cannot just time pass watch movies uh dirty movies this and that indulge in sinful activities but really this is a time to call upon the name of the lord humbly when we seek how do we seek we have to seek by looking at the scriptures what is the will of god for me many of you have asked me also what how to seek god yes look to the scripture your ways are not his ways his thoughts are not your uh, his thoughts are not your thoughts it uh, totally different and so you we need to seek the word of god we need to seek god, god through his word and what whatever sins we have as we look to the word of god sins becomes very clear we must turn from their wicked the, those wicked ways and sure when we do that and when we call upon the name of the lord anyone who calls upon the name of the lord will be saved whose name we should call the name of jesus by which we will be saved because he died for us he gave his life on the cross for our sins so when we call upon the name not don't call just any name but call the name of jesus he can save you he will forgive your sin and he will heal our land this is the responsibility of all believers this is the responsibility of people who fear god it is a time for us to take up our rightful place and know that my what i do if the word of god is it starts with if if my people if we do it the lord is going to do for us if we don't do it think about it so many are dying and you are not praying for them you are not repenting no, that is that is grave mistake we can make we must pray we must seek the lord we must pray for them and we must cooperate of course with the government agencies local government pray for those volunteers pray for those who are working so hard putting their lives in the front line putting their lives in dangers we must turn we must win by god's grace it will be possible let us do let us seek the lord and let's change this one bible verse let it be a guidance for us let us humble ourselves let us pray humbly to humble yes maybe we need to let go our ego we must fall down on our knees seek him and repent and turn from our wicked ways the lord is ready to hear may we spend this time in this during this lockdown seeking god by prayer by reading scripture by listening to sermons that will build our faith and when we do that in fact the holy spirit will come upon us it will fill us and it will, fear will go anxiety will go and in fact we will say oh i'm not helpless My, i have a responsibility to pray for these people to do for these people for to and this is a wonderful chance this is so good time to seek the lord and to start a new life may the lord bless us and may the lord help us to do so amen let's pray almighty oh, gracious heavenly father we want to thank you we want to praise you we want to give glory to your name 
Lord, for this wonderful time you have given us to look at your word. Father, we live in an extraordinary time. O oh Lord, the whole world, so many places are under lockdown, including our country. Father, at this time, there is one Bible verse that speaks to us very, very strongly. And it is very telling, Lord, that we must seek you. Lord, we repent our wickedness. I also, as personally, Lord, I repent all my wickedness, my sinful nature. Please forgive me. Likewise, the please forgive the sins of the people. Lord, we have wronged you. We have done so many wrong things against you. Please forgive us and please change us, Lord. And whatever mistake we have done, whatever wrong we have done, please forgive us. And I pray right now for all those who are suffering, all those who are going through difficulties, all those who are facing dangers in their uh, places, Father, please be with them in the, uh, while they are serving you. Father, please be with them. Please uh, give them good health and please strengthen them. I also pray for all those people who are sick, who have lost their loved ones, Father. I pray that the mighty hands be upon all those people, Lord. And I pray right now that we will, as your people, we will seek, we will pray, and we will humble ourselves, Lord. Please forgive all our sins, and may we spend this time praying for the world, praying for the dying, praying for the people who are suffering. Father, let this period end soon, and let for, during this period let us learn that man will be man, you will be God, and you will reign forever. You are the mighty God. We are so fragile. We are nothing. You are everything. May we bow down before you. May we fall at your feet, and may we give glory to your name for everything. We know that you are hearing our prayers. Please intervene, those who are sick right now. Please help them to recover. Please intervene, and may this be a lesson for all of us. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.